What's up everybody? It's Hydra Sync here and we are playing Star Trek Online with my good friend. Uh well I'm AC Gamer guys, but I am playing my character Mix Snuggles. Okay now, uh let's see, what level are we, man? Probably level I one. To, I think we're just level one right now, guys. Um I don't really know how to, to see my level. Do you know where that's at, brother? Uh your character screen? I believe yeah, it's character screen on the character top right status. corner. Okay, character status. It doesn't really say. It doesn't really give me a level. I think it goes by rank. So, and we're just a citizen right now, guys. We are not ranked. We're just we just started. This is our second episode, and we are going to uh, go speak with Navala if we can find her. Hey, what's I going down here? Me. What's going on over here, man? Oh man, they're they're freaking out. Yeah, let's let's so see you're what just they're saying. Working when the hive attacked. Oh. oh, look at this guy's armor, dude. Check this guy out. Which guy? This guy right here. He's got the armor on, dude. He's got. The, is that a beekeeper suit? Oh, look at it. It's like a uh, environment suit. I mean, really? Yeah. So the Kelds are freaking out, guys. That's what, is, that's what all this is going on about. Is oh, his look, head going injured. through? Is his head going through the the helmet on your screen as well? Like his head doesn't look like it really. Actually, it looks like a woman in there. Is yeah. she hot? Uh, well, she's probably hot in there because it doesn't have any ventilation. But <laughs> no, no, is she is she hot? Oh, uh, look at it. Yeah. I can look over this guy's oh. shoulder. You can zoom in, and you can see what's on his uh, his data pad right here. Oh really? Yeah, he's he's actually calculating how many people in the settlement need more hugs. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use that information <laughs> later on when you know I bring the the sweet embrace uh, to the masses here. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're getting ready to talk. To <laughs> and we're Just in it time. Now. <laughs> Did you talk with Avrak? He said that I'm what? Lazy? That I've been? Ugh. He's just trying to make me look bad so he can get a promotion. Oh, that's so old-fashioned. Let me tell you what's actually happening. Did somebody wake up on the wrong side? Come on. <laughs> Bring it in. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I know it's going to make you feel better. You ready to hit continue? I already did. The Kellids are going crazy. I've been working all day to keep them out of the residential areas. Right, this aggressive behavior is new, and we need to figure out what's causing it. That means gathering samples from some of these creatures. Okay, I'm ready, man. Okay, so apparently, guys, uh, the killers have become infected, and they're enraged, and we have to defeat a few of them and collect some samples, so let's, I'll see what I can find. I don't like the term defeat, because really, we're just kind of... <laughs> these are love lasers, guys. Love lasers. Uh, <laughs> we're killing the crap out of them, guys. No, no, no. We're not. Enemies have a chance to Let's drop items. Let's be completely items. honest in the front here. An item has dropped for you. Move towards the item poor and guys press are no F more. to this loot it. This parrot is no more. <laughs> it's, uh, it is deceased. <laughs> did you get an update on that one? Uh, did you get no. an item? No, did you? I did, yeah. So maybe they don't drop it for every single one. It's going to be another one of those. Now it says return... So as soon as you get your item, let me know. Okay. Although I kind of like sitting here and bringing love to these little bugs. <laughs> they just seem like they, they need some attention. They've just been running around and nobody's been out here to kind of play with them. Oh, is somebody else out here with us? Oh, Ooh, look, it's it? another player, yeah. Oh, nice. Wow. Ooh, look how he's dressed, too. Oh. I wonder if he wants a hug. <laughs> he probably does. Okay, take strange sample. Take... So I found my sample. There we go. So let's bring it back to the NPC. Let's see if we can needs... go hug him, guys. Come on. Okay. Backslash H U G. Nope. So I don't know how to do the emos in this game. So. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out because every single person I meet is gonna have to get a hug, guys. It's, just, <laughs> it's the way I go. I'm very generous. My my hugs are worth money, but you know I give them out freely. All right. So I'm clicking on it now. This metal has some kind of fungus growing on it that's similar to the spores we found on some of the Kellid carapaces. It might explain their behavior, but how are they getting infected in the first place? Also, the flying Kellids have never come out of the cavern before. This is so strange. Something might be happening in the cavern. I'll check it out. I'll You're take right. the case. <laughs> the source of the infection could be somewhere inside the cavern. Head over there and see if you can find out what's aggravating the nest. And be careful. I'll be careful. I'll be back. I'll be back. Now, I, I have to admit that my knowledge on Romulans is pretty limited, but don't they have, like, a scanner, you know, or something? Oh, look at that guy. Can't, couldn't we have, have just scanned these guys rather than, you know, beam love into their hearts? 
to find that out that there is like a mold fungus thing growing on these guys? I mean, couldn't we have done that instead? Uh, yeah, man, maybe. Uh, I doubt it though. Maybe it's because I'm not a science op, but you are, aren't you? No, I'm tactical, dude. I'm always tactical, baby. Oh, really? You're playing another one? I will bring war one? to. Yeah, I'll bring a war to all my neighbors, dude. I will destroy and rend flesh, dude. I am made for killing. Well, these boots are made for walking, guys. <laughs> this is what they're gonna yeah. do. One of these days, these boots are gonna hug all over you. Oh yeah, take take it to the face, guy. Oh, dude. Ooh, what's going on here? It got dark. It got real dark here. <laughs> are you over here with me? No, I'm getting my butt kicked over here. Actually, where are you at? Uh, I'm coming back for you, man. Why'd you leave me? Ah, How did you no, I got in? these guys. These guys are weak. Whoa! Somebody just threw something at me. Holy crap! Yeah, it's this guy over here on the side. He's been a little lonely for a while, man, and he just he hasn't been getting oh getting any love, any attention. I keep hitting the attack button too much, dude. That's what it is. Well, I mean, you can target each individual creature and actually click on it. But, yeah, you can hit the little attack button down here on the bottom, and that auto-targets for you. That's kind of cool. Ooh, that flank, dude, was freaking amazing. Oh, we great. killed that guy really fast. I see what you mean. Oh, we're hugging the crap out of everybody, dude. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I finally got him, guys. He's finally coming around. He said hugging. You know, he, he hates hugs, but, you know, he stays around me enough time, you know, he's, he's yeah, going to hug people. what you actually mean by hugs, and that means kill. So no, I'm fine what are you that. talking about? No, we do, we do not kill people or Oh, creatures. yeah, we're killing the crap out of them. Uh -uh, we're dying man. horribly. No, no, we, we are a bunch. screaming in pain. We are a bunch of love bringers to the masses. <laughs> These Look guys at, are not attacking. What is this right here? Look at this. This is, Oh, I got bees all over me. Ah, the bees! <laughs> the bees! I'm Nicolas Cage. <laughs> what? What movie was that? <laughs> uh, something about things oh, and stuff? Not The Wicker Man. You're not talking yeah, about the that. Wicker Please Man. don't be talking the about bees, that. The Bees! The Bees! Such a horrible movie. <laughs> oh, it's one of the few Nicolas Cage movies I cannot stand. That movie was just so depressing. And you know why the reason was, right? Because, you know. Uh, not, why? Not enough hugs, man. <laughs> oh, what is this? What the... <laughs> Oh, examine dead Kelly, dude. Did you get the little video what clip? The, what the? Oh, what is this? Ooh, what's this? Oh, that what's is this? a robotic uh, adversary, dude. You think so? Yeah, that is. That was made by the Tal Shiar, dude. They have come for us at last. Examine so, the dead. Has a large gash across his abdomen. All the abdomen. Holy crap! Oh, has. Poor guy. Yeah, too many hugs. I can't even speak oh, tonight. Too many hugs, man. We, we're we're being too rough with our hugs, dude, for sure. Look at the look at the graphics on this wall right here. This is beautiful. You must die. No, we do not kill. You must die, creature. We are friendly people. We are Romulans, guys. The people who kill are the Klingons, maybe the Federation if they got to. But I gotta say, I don't like the the Romulans. They're pretty cool. Now, what like are we supposed to do I like here? I you're killing everything. I'm just standing back and watching him kill stuff, I'm guys. Not even it's awesome. Killing. This this is a hug gun. <laughs> yeah. It brings snuggles yeah, the into the hearts of very, everybody. Very dangerous. <laughs> it can be because it takes all the hatred out of Whoa, everybody. What's this thing? I don't Whoa. know. It's unknown floating creature. I like how oh, we'll just attack it, something dude. even if we don't know what it is. Flanking, dude. Flanking. I'm telling you. Let's uh, sabotage, no, disable the strange machine, okay? Oh, you can just right-click everything. I'm starting to really like that. Ooh, video clip. Oh, no. Did we break it? I hope so. Ooh, now I'm walking back like a boss. <laughs> <laughs> like a boss! <laughs> All right, what's crack lacking? Hell, how does Raviak doing? Just hold still. I'm ch Everything is fine here. I'm more worried about the Kellids. All right, so let's talk to Navala now. A strange machine and some weird drone things? Hmm, that is troubling. Someone's been in there. We'll have to let the Maori know about this. It's good you disabled the device, though. Maybe now the Kellids will calm down. Continue. I took a look at those biological samples while you were gone, but I can't do much more than a basic tricorder scan. It's just not my area. Devex might be able to help. He was an engineer in the Romulan military before the homeworld was destroyed. Now he's helping us with our water supply. 
and anything else that takes more specialized knowledge. You should talk to him. Continue. Wait, where's our tricorder? Why don't we have one? Ooh, did we just level up? We just leveled up, guy. Nice. But we so, don't have any points to spend, though, yet. Uh, do we not? I didn't see a little thing pop up on the screen saying we did yet. I got the Space Max 5000 and Ground Max 2000. So that's weird. Uh, what is that? Yeah, I got points to spend. Do you? Where do you spend yeah. your points? In skill-based ground? Show all. I'm gonna how, do do... You, how do you get to it? Oh, I see it. It's up there on the top left. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and click on that. So what are you going to put your points into, man? Um, Driver coil, starship hull repair. Ooh, that's what I'm going to put my points into. And maybe some attack. Because we got to, you know, rescue the people who need all the love. Yeah, weapons training. There we go. And let's see, is there a snuggle skill? Mm, yeah, we can use weapon proficiency. We'll go with that. So what'd you put your points into, man? Okay, I'll put mine in one in weapon proficiency. I put one in the driver coil because it helps you to turn faster. Uh, I put one in ship's batteries. Uh, maybe I don't need batteries. Uh, driver coil helps you turn faster, and I've noticed that's a problem in things. Starship attack patterns helps you. The skill improves your starship's attack patterns. The higher your attack pattern skill, the better your attack pattern abilities will be. Uh, starship weapons training. This improves your weapon. I'm going to put uh, one in that, guys, because that increases the damage that your weapons do. So, And that's that's what I put my stuff in. What would you put yours into? Uh, pretty much the same thing. I put mine into weapons on my ship uh, because my ships, again, will be sending off good feelings, good vibes to other ships, which will get them to <laughs> go back and spread the love to their planet, which, again, you know, one ship at a time, one, one person at a time makes a difference, guys. <sighs> Yeah, guys, and you give a, another ship a hug by ramming it at full speed. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm going to be hugging a lot of ships. When two become one. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see. Who are we supposed to talk to There's over here? There's another quest down here. I wonder if we should go get this quest first. Oh, that's the Keeper of Lore. That's the woman we talked to before anyway. Don't we have to meet her at night? We have a date, guys. Oh, yeah, we got to hit that from the back, dude. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's talk to the Vex now. What do you need with an old space hound like me? Show the Vex the strange samples we found. Hmm. I have an idea of what this might be. Maybe. I saw something like this once before, when I was out beyond the Eridon belt. We responded to a distress call from a mining outpost. When we got there, all the people were just gone, vanished without a trace. The only things we found were a strange beacon and some odd spore samples. Okay, so These we got three. look very similar. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, I stepped on you. But we got three choices here, guys. I've only got one because I'm tactical. What did you choose? I Let's chose see. tactical as well, but if you look at the other huh? choices, it says the same thing. May I use your equipment to analyze the metal? Like they, pretty much the same thing. May I use your equipment to yeah. scan the biological samples? It's it's. And tactical is may I use your equipment to break down these biological samples? So, uh, oh yeah, uh, I wanted to tell you, man. Don't forget to let me know about the hamburgers because I have no way of knowing uh, what kind of pickles or mustard that I want on my hamburgers. Okay, brother. Yeah, and he's going through a seizure right now, guys. So that's why I feel like this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's use tactical. May I use this to break idea. down these biological samples? we ran samples. into something like this before, we were able to stop the spores from reproducing by bombarding them with tachyons. We have the equipment here to replicate that procedure. All right. So uh, use the Vex machine to break down the sample, guys. And thanks. I'll let you know what I find. Well. Some missions in Star Trek Online will change based on And now we get to use the freaking machine we were... T oh, no. No, no, no. That You're sucks. not that lucky yet, man. Not yet. Oh, uh, that sucks. I was hoping to... Okay, well... You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Are right, we hitting the Break button now, down. guys? Break it down. Nice and slow. <laughs> Break it down. Break it down. <laughs> Components broken down. Data retrieved. 
Okay, so let's come back over here and tell him, uh, you know, what we found. I don't even know what we found. Oh, look at these weapons, dude. Holy crap. Did you see now, them? Yeah, they look pretty cool. One thing about the Romulans, guys, is the Warbird is my favorite starship. I love the way it looks, even though it's Romulan. And it was always the show associated with them and with the evil. But I love I think the Romulan is definitely the best-looking starship out there. The, I agree. The Warbird. I agree. Oh. And, of course, you know, they have stealth. So there's always a chance for those sneaky little hugs to just, you know, come up when you're not looking. <laughs> they'll, they'll catch you by surprise, yeah, man. Every time, guys. Beautiful <laughs> All right, surprise. So we're we're going to talk to Devex now. I've only seen fungal biotech like this once before. Remember that mining station that I mentioned? Before we arrived, they reported several disappearances. Some thought it was paranoia. But we had reports that said intruders would beam in right through the colony's magnetic shield, right into someone's quarters, sedate them, and then vanish without a trace. All right, so let's hit continue on that. We didn't know what to believe, but I don't think those miners were paranoid. Something did happen to them, and it could happen okay. again. Okay, so you thought it was related to this beacon? That's what my commander believed. We found a beacon with almost the same configuration as the one you found. We weren't able to get much from it before we shut it down. But the one thing we learned is that the beacon was made by a race that called themselves the Alachi. Hmm, the Alachi. Okay, we're gonna continue? We stayed in orbit for a few days, but the Alachi never came back. That's good news for us, seeing that you disabled the beacon you found in the caverns. Okay, so what do we do now? Tell the Maori what we found? That's right. He's the man in charge, so he needs to know. I'd be surprised if he doesn't want to send someone down there to analyze that beacon. Could be these Ilachi were interested in our colony for some reason. Lucky for us, you were there to put a stop to whatever they were trying to do. Okay, so guys, so we're going to take our findings to the Maori and explain the likely involvement of the mysterious Ilachi. Continue. Now, these, these Alachis, do you think they have a, a distant cousin, maybe? Because I had one this morning, and it was freaking delicious. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I love Kalachis. Uh, no, I took a couple of Kalachis this morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Alachis, on the other hand, they don't sound too nice. So, let's... Are we going the right way? Uh, you know, I think we are. I think we can go around this little room right here. Yeah, Kalachi. Nice oh. Kalachi with a little bit of, uh, you know something on it definitely a good way to start your day guys even as a romulan especially as a oh, romulan Rom I'm a table dancer. yeah look at this guys these guys they know how to live it's the middle of the day they don't have any work they're just <laughs> chilling i mean these two guys they look kind of upset i mean they're in their arms folded and they're sitting back from like four feet from the table that's just kind of weird and this guy <laughs> i mean he has a drink and he still refuses to use that table i bet you more than anything that table is broken and that's why they're not using it. It, like, falls apart at the moment's notice. So, yeah, they're just kind of chilling around. And, and at, see, look at that. You try jumping. Oh, my God, you jumped on it. You no. jumped on the table. <laughs> you realize that's going to break on you at any moment. <laughs> oh, and you're yeah. doing a little dance. I'm dancing, doing baby. a little dance. <laughs> Woo, break it down. Dance, right? <laughs> I work for tips. <laughs> <laughs> Be here all week, all right, guys. So this, oh, here's the Maori, guys. So we're going to click on that now. Jolan True. I heard Avrak yelling all the way over here. I'm sorry you had to deal with his problems on our day of celebration. That's fine, but we have a bigger problem. Hmm, that does sound very mysterious. However, you seem to have taken care of the immediate problem, disabling this beacon and dispatching the drones. It you was my, my honor. Thanks. I'll assign some engineers to examine the device and set up surveillance on the cave as soon as possible. If what Devex says is true, we don't want that beacon turned on again. Now that's settled, why don't you try to relax for a while? Enjoy the festival! We'll talk again tomorrow after the engineers have finished their analysis of the device. I'll do that. Thank you, Maori. Oh, thank you, man. So nice of you. Yeah, such a nice dude, dude. And we got, oh, we can hail somebody here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Tobin Kev. Yeah, let's hail him. Are you done for the day? I'm just finishing up, too. I'm going to head back to the restaurant. Meet me for a drink when you're done. 
No, okay, no, no, so no, no, explore yet. the settlement and then meet up with Kev when you're done for the day. If you choose to meet up with him now, you will be transitioned to the next part of the tutorial. And you said not now? Yeah, not yet. We, we still have a date for uh, for tonight, and let's check around and see what they, they have to offer over here. We want to see if maybe a few more people have some more stories to tell. Why is everybody sitting so far away from the tables? Is that like a cultural thing? They, they just don't like tables? Why even have them? <laughs> what if Holy I jump crap. On the table? Ah! Look at this guy. This guy is so out of work. He's just been drinking. Oh man, he's wow. Like, he's like, oh my god, he's tore up. Yeah, that that tore dude, up. and he's just having a good conversation with his friends after drinking a lot of Romulan beer. What do you think the Romulan beer tastes like? Uh, I bet it's good, dude. Even the Federation and the, the Klingons and everybody like Romulan ale, so I'm sure it's really delicious. And it's blue. It looks very fetching. Hey there. So let's see if we can talk to her festival? and uh, complete Working her mission. Hard. Well, maybe so, you have time to uh, listen no. to a story uh, yeah, okay, or two. I'm going to talk to her huh? now. Well, let's see. Tell me about the origin. Tell me about where people as the planet was destroyed. Uh, you, it's have, in, you have the choice where it says, I just returned from, from the, the hive. hive. It's yeah. a mess down there. Let's do that one. Really? That sounds like a new story in the making. The mystery of the Kellids, or perhaps the Kellid conundrum. I'll have to think about it. We should talk more about it during the festival. Do you want to hear a story or two? No thanks, I should go now. We've already heard all this. I think, man, we're going to have to uh, go to the next part of the story, but let's look around. More yeah, yeah before let's, we, uh, let's make sure we, we didn't miss anybody because, you know, she had information for us. I don't think we went back this way and talked to people yet. If you see any more of those little eyes on the map, definitely, you know, okay, head you on it. over there. Oh, here's direction. one. Here's one. Where at? Uh, over, over in that direction somewhere. I think that's the guy we're supposed to go to, maybe. Uh, okay, well, let's go Let's go see. Let's see if we can get over here, though. I don't Ooh, think we went this? up in this direction. Yeah, what's this? Oh, look at that. Get your fresh goods for the festival. How can I be a spear carrier without my spear? Ooh, okay, can Ooh, I get up there? What's going on? Oh, we can talk to this guy. Can Where? we? Can we? I mean, a little message popped up a second ago. Said, oh, here we go. Talk to Havod. Do you got it? Yeah, I'm doing it now. Oh, crap, it disappeared. Here it goes. No, I'm talking to the other guy. <laughs> here we go. Take right, the Havod. Talk to Havod. Uh, Havod. Oh, okay, he's just saying, hey, look. Talk to Sokar. He's like, hey, man, I've heard Avex going to reacting on the farm again. Yeah! Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, can we talk to this guy? Yeah, talk to Vorian. Hey, isn't Tovin Kev looking for you? I don't care. Let's go shoot bottles again, dude. Yeah, I like shooting bottles. Nah, nah, we don't want to destroy any bottles. Somebody took a Bam. long time to make these things, man. Bam. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, Emerald Little Guys? Bam. Bam. <laughs> Good shooting. Thank so you, baby. Hey, guy. let's check her out. Oh, look at the ladies, man. It's ladies' oh. night, and I feel it. Ooh, chat with Ikai. Ik Ikai. Oh, well, there's somebody over here we can talk to. Uh, No, that's the guy we're supposed to finish with. I guess maybe we have to finish with him. Maybe we, we talk to everybody else. Why are they standing around so tight? This is just kind of weird. <laughs> see that? Are they weirding you out, dude? Look, look how close they are, man. It's like they want a three-in-one hug. Come on, guys. Let's bring it in. Hey, baby. All around. <laughs> Hey. Okay. Rondon women are very fetching. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to go over here, man. Look, there's a little hidden section over here. Oh, look, we can go fishing over here, man. Yeah, man. How do you jump? Oh, no, we can't either. Oh, uh, space bar. Oh, we can't get over there? Nope. There, there's a guy over there, man. He's in desperate need of a hug. Come on. <laughs> Actually, I think we get over there where we're shooting the bottles. Let's go see if there's fish in the water. People are probably yelling at the screen right now. Continue the mission! <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> no, we'll get to it, guys. We'll get to it. We're just having a little bit of fun because the game has a lot oh, to offer. No. It is a he's beautiful, beautiful game. Oh, he's, he's just limits, dude. look at him though, man. He's just kind of sitting over there pondering. Like, I'm so sad. He's emo. That's the yeah. emo. He definitely is <laughs> off on the side. There's a nice little breeze. You can see the the leaves uh, the, of the bushes blowing back and forth, and he's sitting in the water. You know, just contemplating his existence here because he's, he's like i hate my life i, know. I hate my life <laughs> and, and the one thing on his mind that he wants more than anything else is a hug <laughs> he's just been wishing for it man romulans deep down in the center they just want love they just want All to right. be loved and and to love others so you ready let's let's click on it man click it now 
Oh, no, no, uh... Huh. <laughs> but you didn't think you weren't going to show. Come on, let's get some drinks. We should have something to eat, too. This will move you to the next part of the tutorial. Select not now if you want to keep exploring the settlement. Return to Kev when you are ready to continue. Let's go ahead and do done. Wait, wait, wait. Did you do it already? Oh. Yeah, I did it. Hey there. Long day? Well, that was an awkward I can't silence. believe how far this colony has come. Just look at how much we can accomplish without being ruled by the Tal Shi'ar. Word is, someone named Atan is trying to fight them, but... Me? I'm content with what we have here. Let's go enjoy okay, the now, festival. Okay, now, since we have the Tal Shi'ar, AC, what about the short Shi'ar? Mmm, yeah, that might be a little <laughs> bit hard to fight those guys. Yeah, it'd be hard to see. You know, they could duck around, you know, little, like, barrels and stuff really easy. I was just sh gonna say, you know, short people usually have, you know, really good sense of uh, combat. Friends and neighbors, welcome to the tapping. The Kellid nectar has been harvested, the ale is brewed, and we can finally taste Some the fruits of our labors. And like this fine vintage, our colony has taken time and Some effort to develop. Happen. Since the loss of the homeworld 22 years ago, we have known fear, hunger, and pain. We have struggled. We have overcome every difficulty. We have mourned those who are no longer with us, and we have welcomed new friends into our home. And now we celebrate. The trials are behind us. Viranat is prosperous and growing. We will face new challenges in the future, but we will face them together. Told you some bad. Oh, oh we're getting we're getting shot at. <laughs> no, no, fireworks is beautiful, guys. <laughs> oh, oh so see, pretty. I told you, dude. Look at that. Oh, come on, guys. Real fireworks now, dude. They're coming to hug us, dude. Hey, Just like you wanted hey, to spread it. They're spreading the hugs to the colony. <laughs> Those aren't the type of hugs we want. I don't want. know who or why, but people are being rounded up and we have to do something. I'll help oh, the vets no. get the shuttles ready. You should find Navala and Vorian to help organize the militia. Get as many civilians to safety as you can. After that, we stop whoever or whatever is attacking our home. They killed some people. Oh, yeah. No, they, they just hugged them so much that they were exhausted and fell down. Oh, okay, that's okay. Then. <laughs> they'll wake up refreshed and, and be perfectly <laughs> fine later. They'll, they'll feel all warm and fuzzy. It's, it's good. It's yeah, all just, good. Just like the fuzzy bunny guys. <laughs> Which, for those who forgot, that's the name of my ship. So I think, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, do our little uh, pickles and burgers Press here. Press the F key hamburgers, to contact guys, hamburgers. Hamburgers. Kev to continue this mission. Anyway, guys, uh, we're, we're going to call it uh, We're gonna call it that for the episode, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. hope you enjoyed watching, guys, because I know we had a great time uh, playing. Hey, hey, is there anything you want to say about your channel before we uh, leave this episode where it stands? Just uh, if you guys want to watch some really cool videos and you want some decent hugs, uh, definitely come out and watch the channel. You're definitely going to appreciate it. I know I do. <laughs> All right, guys. We will, uh, we will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hugs out. Subscribe. <laughs>